champion. Hey, it's Kelly Raspberry with your showbiz top five. Number five. Scarlett Johansson, she's just playing the field. At the beginning of last week, she flew off to Cabo with Sean Penn for a little lobster dinner and whatnot. And by Friday, she was having drinks with Jeremy Renner at Chateau Marmont. Number four. The entire cast of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is back for season two. There were questions about Camille Grammer and Kim Richards returning, especially after Camille kept crying she was being painted as the bad guy. And Kim was also not too thrilled when she was outed as an alcoholic when she says she most obviously is not. But we do know that both ladies are back and they're already shooting scenes for season two. Number three. Justin Bieber already shook things up with a new haircut, but can the ladies handle the Bieb sporting a stash? He tweeted Saturday, I'm not shaving for a month so you all can see my mustache. I'm pumped. Number two. David Arquette was involved in a head-on collision in L.A. Friday afternoon. He's so serious about maintaining his sobriety, he refused all pain medication. He tweeted about that and also says it's a miracle the woman he hit was uninjured. It was sort of David's fault. He stopped to avoid rear-ending a car in front of him and plowed head-on into another car in oncoming traffic. Number one. Entertainment Tonight paid for the rights to air the surveillance footage from Lindsay Lohan inside that jewelry store where she allegedly stole a necklace. Lindsay is thrilled about it. She thinks this is going to prove what she's been saying all along, that the jewelry store owner is only trying to capitalize on her fame to get paid. The prosecutor even asked the jewelry store owner, please don't do this, but he worked with a broker to peddle this tape to the highest bidder. And you can watch it tonight on Entertainment Tonight. That's your Showbiz Top 5. Kid Craddock in the morning.